Greetings my friends, how are you doing? This is Zev from Zed Outdoors and I hope you're having an awesome day. So in this video, what I'm going to be showing you is a super simple recipe you can make the next time you're outdoors. And what is the recipe for today? It is egg, tomato and cheese muffins. And surprise, surprise, you need three ingredients. Eggs, tomatoes, preferably the smaller ones, but any will do. And cheese, preferably grated, but you can still use a block and just chop it up into fine pieces. So we're actually going to be cooking these in a Dutch oven because the Dutch oven is very good at regulating heat. And what we want to simulate is a cooker at home, okay? So we have heat from all sides. And what we're going to be making them in is these little muffin tins. Now you can use the paper ones that you make fairy cakes in. You can get these in different types, that aluminium, non-stick, steel, etc. These are steel ones, these are very light, but obviously these are reusable and a lot more robust and they hold their shape. So I bought these off Amazon, pretty cheap. You can get them in all different shapes and sizes. It's really just up to you. You can make larger ones, you can get the egg tart sizes, you can get much smaller. I find these ones are slightly bigger than the fairy cake sizes, and this is what I'm gonna work with today. So let's get straight into processing the recipes and get the muffins on. So the first thing we do is we whisk up some eggs. Now the amount of eggs you kind of eyeball it, for these size muffin tins, I find it's about three quarters of an egg. So just to be on the safe side, I will just whisk up, I think three eggs and the remainder I can just eat on its own. It's not a problem. So let's just whisk these up. These will whisk up nicely. Let's put that to one side. What we then next want to do is get our tomatoes. And once again, it's kind of how many fit into the muffin tray. But what we're going to do, I think we'll just grab, grab a few of these. They're delicious just to eat on their own as well. So like I said, you can get any size tomatoes, but I think that'll do just for the moment. So let's just use our op and knife. Let's cut these up. So it really depends on kind of what taste texture you want to go for, but honestly, I just cut them in half because these are the smaller ones. And that's it, there you go. So that's uh, that's all kind of diced up. Let's now bring three muffin trays. Now how you kind of layer this up is totally up to you. What I typically do, I put a small bit of cheese. Layer it up. Then what we do is place some of the tomatoes in there. So I find about roughly three of these pieces will fit into each one. So we've got an odd one here, we'll just put that into there. Now what I'll do is you then layer on some cheese on top. And then last but not least, we pour in the egg. Okay. Spilled a bit over the side. I'm usually not this messy, I can assure you. Just use all that up and there you go. So for those of you that may not be aware, when you're cooking with cast iron, it's important that when you're cooking stuff inside, as in baking, you don't want it hitting the actual surface. So you don't want the tin or whatever it is that you're baking in to kind of be touching this because it will burn. So you can put things like little twigs, what I've done here, or something just to kind of raise the surface so it's not in direct contact with this. So we're just gonna give us a couple of moments for this to heat up and then we're gonna put the muffins in. So 
it's important to cook it from all sides. So just pick up a couple of bits of embers. So the important thing as always with Dutch ovens is you don't want blazing heat, you want embers, you want a very very gentle heat and you want it from all sides. So what we're going to do now, you would typically leave that for around about 15 to 20 minutes, 20 minutes max. You come back, you check on it and if need be obviously you leave it a little bit longer. Obviously we're not using a cooker at home so we can't regulate the heat. If we were then it would be about a, roughly about 180 degrees and you would leave that for 20 minutes period and that's more than enough uh, but we're outside and obviously there's different factors that affect how long it's going to take but to be on the safe side generally it's about 20 minutes so let's give it 20 minutes we'll come back and check how our muffins are doing Truth, my friends, let's see how it's looking. So there you have it, my friends egg tomato cheese muffins all done now the important taste test obviously you can use this as a side dish for something else you know you can just have it on its own really it's just up to you let's give it a go oh wow oh man them tomatoes make all the difference <laughs> makes it kind of melt in your mouth these are delicious so i doubt you want to see me chomping this down there you go guys that is a wrap for this video it was just kind of a very quick recipe. This is something I've cooked quite a bit in the past. I've just never shown it on video. So I thought I'd just give it a go. But more importantly, I wanted to you to have a go at kind of cooking these and let me know how you get on. If you post a picture up or a video, do let me know or tag me and I'll be sure to kind of check that out. And like I said, we'll be sharing more of these kind of moving forward. Very quick recipes you can make outdoors. So give it a go. Let me know how you get on. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So as always, my friends, I hope whatever you're doing, you have a blessed day, a blessed week ahead. This is Zed from Zed Outdoors. What is Zed Muffin? Peace out. <laughs>